So welcome back to my garage. This is Gamer Dom. I'm on Fiery Sailing and I'm in the KV4, which is a tank that I really want to like. It's the sort of tank I should like. I like I like nimble, lightly armed tanks, but I also like heavy, well armoured, bullying tanks. And on the surface, the KV4 is exactly that. And I I really like the KV3, but for some reason, I don't know what it is. I'm I have struggled with this tank a lot um, I think this is pretty much the best game I've had in this vehicle which well, says something <laughs> so anyway I say we're on fire sailing and I was looking at the composition of the enemy team thinking there's a platoon of super Pershings there's a really good Oni um, a lot of our heavy tanks have headed up towards the the crest thing on the e-line and I thought, well, I, that was where I was planning to go initially, but then I thought, no, it's stupid. There's too many of us there. There's too many good enemy tanks that potentially be there. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit unconventional. I'm going to head up the hill. That There are two arty, but they are both Burt's, but they are platooned together. So if you get fixed by them, you can guarantee they are going to be laying down, smack down on you repeatedly because they'll concentrate fire because they'll be talking to each other, one assumes. So, again, safety tip for you guys uh, when you're playing the game. Um, and I'm sure most of you do this already, but you know, look at the enemy team. Try and, especially if you're in a slow, lumbering tank like this, you've got plenty of time to, to look. Um, so, you know, have a look at the composition of the enemy team and try and work out how things are going to pan out. To me, I see those Super Pershings and that own, uh, own knee, and I expect to see them um, in the middle and exactly what's just popped up of course i would say that wouldn't i uh, t32 i would expect to see threatening the hill trying to use his big fat turret and the i6 well i i don't know he could come this way but he has so um so and i'm expect to see the tiger 2 sort of somewhere supporting either side I, I suspect he'll come to the hill where the birds will go i don't know but they'll definitely come together so and you can see our Skoda T40 and our IS, oh there's an SU down there, that's an unconventional place. So anyway, our, um, our other tanks have come to the hill have not really pushed. And really, if you're going to go for the hill, you've got to go for the hill. And I'm in a big, thick, heavy, stupid tank, so I'm going to just push. Because I've got armour and that's kind of your job. So hopefully by moving forward we encourage the IS-3 to do so I was hoping I might get a shot on the SU but uh, I can't see him um, and we come over the top there is our friend in the T-32 we can, we'll have to go right down because of gun depression and that was a bit of a poor shot actually I was trying to track him and for some reason I didn't and there we go bounce 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 we took oh we took APCR shot from the Comet, another APCR from the Comet, the SU bounced us with AP, why is he, why is the SU firing AP? T32, there's another shot from the SU, another one from the Comet, and they're pon constantly tracking me, so I'm going to have to use my repair kit, repair kit, and just keep going. T32's just hit me, um, I've managed to put another shot in the T32, and here we go, aim at that sort of bit in between the um, upper and lower plate is probably the best place on this thing and here we go I'm going in for a run and it, oh dear oh dear just as I went to fire gun I hit a rock or bump or something and bounced up so I didn't manage to hit him and here I'm trying to and then I missed him again I missed him twice at point blank range luckily the T43 got him and the SU has resorted to actually firing what he should have been firing all along which is HE he did take out my loader and he also tracked me again. Jeez, whiz alrighty. How many times did my tracks get blown off in this game? So we push the hill. I've used my big thick stupid armour to try and push through and we've taken we've taken them down basically. Uh, the, one of the Burt's is down there so there's, I assume the other one will be pretty close by. They usually are. And the SU's there. We know there's a Tiger 1 and the Oni are sitting by the railway line. Only he didn't push as hard as I thought he would, which is probably a bad mistake for his team. There's the Tiger 2. Don't think I can get a shot on him. He's just below that railway line, but he's almost certainly going to pop out, which is a bit of a shame. I probably angled too much. Yeah, I did. That was stupid, Dom. Uh, we've got the armors at the front, mate. That's what you need to do. Remember that. Uh, there goes the Burt. He's dead. Good. Right. Both the Burt's are dead. 
We're going to use this building as shelter. Oh, there's our friend in the SU. We can get a bit of payback with him. That was a low roll, which was a shame. 299 damage. Can we track him in place? Oh, I'm not going to load in time before he turns. 288. Well, we blocked another shot from him. That was APCR this time. He's tried HG, he's tried AP, and he's applied APCR, but he's only... Oh, can we get... No, can't get through the railway. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> That SU didn't have a good day. Don't know how good he was as a player. Let's have a look at his quick stats. Can't even see him on the team. Oh, there he is. Yeah, no, not great. If you're watching, Mr. SU player, fire HE. Just fire HE. You'll do damage and you'll knock out modules and you'll knock out crew. 152mm shell. It's pretty pokey. Uh, firing AP is not the best move, in my, especially against something like a KV. If we get something lighter armoured, yes, it's quite useful. So I've come up here. Um, I'm trying to use the railway line as protection from those heavies that are on the rail. Oh, there, Mr. Pinocchio. You didn't see me there, did you? <laughs> did you see that 100mm shell that just went straight through your head? So, it's 10-8. Could go either way still. And there's a super pershing over the far side. They didn't. They just camped at the back. Okay, good platoon of them. And I took him down good platoon of uh, super persians and they didn't help the middle they didn't help the flank they just sat at the back well you know. wonder why their team lost then huh there's the only can't pen him having to load up some premium round and of course now he duly turns his side never mind let's try not to hit our friend we got him for a whopping 98 damage so there's just the uh, T25-2 somewhere around here. He was last seen over on that 1-2 uh, line, I believe. So we'll just push on, see what we can do. I've had a good game. I've enjoyed it. I've got three kills, 2,000 damage. We pushed the hill hard. We used the bulk of the armour um, to... Oh, we've been spotted. We used our heavy armour to, to basically take shots and spot the enemy. And that's kind of what you have to do sometimes. Can I get a last shot here? Fire oh, bounced off his turret. Ah. Oh. Never mind. Good game. Well, I suspect that's about the best game I've had in the KV-4. I've, I love the KV-3. For some reason, the KV-4, I just can't seem to get to work. And it's a brute of a tank. Got lots of army. You can see all the bounces I took there. Um, how many bounces did I actually take? Ha! I was hit 22 times. Only six of them penned me. 3,710 <laughs> damage bounced and a lot of it was from that um, SU SU-152 who seemed to be firing yeah see there you are, I bounced six shots from him wow he must have been using um, well I know he was re using premium but I don't know why he didn't just use HE would have done damage to me I'm sure he would have done anyway whatever uh, he didn't and we won um, I'm still not sure how I managed to miss that T32 at point blank range a couple of times. Um, I hit him at reasonable mid to mid to short range, but missed him at point blank range. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. It's early. I'm struggling. I don't know. Um, so we've got a second class mastery, a shell proof, far for effect, hand of God because we took shots from at least four different enemy vehicles. Certainly did that. And we got Steel Wall. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was bounce, bounce, bounce. 2,474 damage and three kills. 881 base XP. 14 shots fired, 11 hits, 9 penetrations. Um, as I say, we took 22 shots. Wow. Uh, only six of them penned and 16 bounced for 3,710 ex uh, potential damage blocked. Um, what else we got here? 48,600 XP um, credit. Sorry, um, base used up some of our consumables, which also cost us money, which is a shame. It gave us 16,000 profit uh, with a premium account. If we hadn't had a premium, we would have made a one credit loss on that game. <laughs> Ah oh dear, I feel for you guys who run a non-premium account. Um, when you're playing these higher tier eight, nine, and tens, you just lose money. Unless you have an absolute monster game, it's uh, really, really tough. Um, 
experience wise 1322 experience times two for the day gave us 2644 uh, if we did not been a premium that would have been 1762 so there you go that's uh, KV4 I say I really struggle with him um, I like it but look at that I played 38 games and I've got a 34.2% win rate I don't know anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did explain to me how I missed that T32 apart from the fact I'm a knobhead um, this is Gamer Tom enjoy your games have fun just remember it's just a game and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching